Good afternoon everyone. I know it's been a few days since I uh, put out a video because uh, the Christmas rush was on for the sign shop and I was, uh, Vicki and myself were pretty much spending every waking moment in the sign shop uh, putting out orders. So that is now slowed down since it's so close to Christmas. The orders are slowed down because I don't want anything before Christmas. So anyhow, uh, I have the plow in here. It is time to put the cutting edge on and the back drag edge. And if I have time tonight, also to put some wings on it. So uh, let's get started and I'll show you exactly what's going on. Okay, first off with the cutting edge and the back drag edge. You notice it says Western. And uh, the back drag edge was $190. The cutting edge was $185. And it also says Western. Okay, I went, with the, I went to the Western dealership and got these parts. They had them right in stock. They didn't have the back drag edge in stock which that's not a common thing that they sell, but since I back dragged so many driveways, that's what I wanted. Because uh, it was suggested to me by Randy from Countryside Vlogs that uh, if I put one of them on, I think he mentioned it last year, maybe the year before, I don't know, it's been a long time. That guy's been on me for two years for sure, anyhow, about changing the way I plow things. But anyhow, um, I checked uh, the parts, different part, part stores on the aftermarket, and we're talking like $15.00. For the aftermarket blade versus the factory blade so I went with the factory blade uh, just because I know exact it was going to fit exactly uh, there's a couple things that I do not like and uh, we'll go over that and I'm going to reuse some bolts on there because of uh, the bolts that came with it and they're just a lot smaller and I'm just going to reuse the old bolts because they're so much bigger so uh, I'll show you what that is I guess I should pull one of these out but you see the difference in the head there this is the factory one and this is a um, there's also a factory one, but it's a replacement bolt. It's like uh, half the size of this, so I'm going to reuse these bolts. And odds of me snapping them off is uh, slim to none, but yeah, that's uh, just not going to work out right because already it's uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to hold that and tighten that down because it's a carriage bolt. And look at the size of that, it's just not going to work. So uh, we're not going to use them. And I do not know how well these are going to come out because this has been used, or I have been using this for six years. So, it's a lot of rust and everything, but it's not too bad. And I also have jack stands under the plow. The plow sitting on the jack stands right now because if something were to happen to that, that weighs 500 and some pounds. And if my arm's under there, that would take that arm right off or cut it in half or something. I'd be going to the hospital anyhow, so we're not going to do that. Okay, let's see if I can break these loose. Turn that up. Oh, this works pretty good. catch up I think I've turned it a little bit let's see what happens Okay, now that I got that apart, this is the bolt, this is the replacement bolt. That's quite a bit of difference. So these bolts are not too bad, they got a little bit of rust on them, but other than that I'm just going to put them on the wire wheel, clean them up, and call it good because uh, the it's got nylock nuts on it, and they come off really hard, so they should go on pretty decent, and these should last another six years or however long it takes to for this plow because I am not getting rid of this plow. 
So, yeah, I gotta catch my breath. That's a lot of workout. I have to take my bibs off. It's 50 degrees out. Beautiful out. Uh, we've been battling with uh, 5 and 10 degrees and high winds and everything, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And it's gonna be this way for a whole week. So, it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be a nice, warm, green Christmas, but I'd rather have the green Christmas than the miserable snow rain mixture that's coming after that. So, that's why I'm trying to get all this done and get everything all done this week. Even though it is Christmas week, I'm still going to try to get everything done because uh, winter is coming. It's not going to go away. We cannot avoid it as much as I'd like to. We just can't do it. So uh, let's get this uh, blade and uh, blade, the back drag blade and uh, cutting edge. I'll bolt it back up and uh, get this done, I guess. Something like that. Anyhow. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Instead of picking up one piece of steel, I'm going to pick up two pieces of steel. You get a bolt started. That shouldn't be too awful bad, but it could be. Ugh. Might be easier with two people, but I have me. Pretty close. Like real close. We're talking eighth of an inch, which I will never ever notice. So let's snug these two up and drop the plow on there. See if everything is uh, all set up with this back drag edge here. Looks like it's going to work to me. Right on flat on the ground there and flat on there, so that's good adjusted. I'll do nothing to it, but let's put the rest of the bolts in. Hey, okay, now this is going to be the fun part because this guy get torqued to 150 foot pounds. So I got it going the wrong direction. like the impact gutter at 150 foot pounds. Yep. Double check everything. Yep. Yep, we're good. Okay, yeah, I'm sweating my butt off. I took my car hurts off. I almost took the sweatshirt off, but it's just a little bit too chilly for that, but not really. So anyhow, the next thing is the wings. I got them set on there. Well, where they're going to go, I guess. And I did get the Byers brand Pro Wings. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. And uh, Randy from Countryside Vlogs sent me a link to the um, wings that he had. And I looked at them, and uh, my Western dealer had... Uh, a pair of uh, those similar to them, about the same price range, and they had these buyers, which is like about twenty or thirty dollars more. I think it was thirty dollars more, and showed me the difference. And there is a little bit of a difference. Uh, the biggest major difference, well, besides all these freaking bolts and everything else that's got to go in there, is this back plate. Because uh, this is a little bit bigger than the other one, and uh, this is going to go on the back of this uh, plow. Because I do not recommend putting wings on a poly plow because it's plastic but um, also it's not going to be really hitting a whole lot you know I may hit a curb once in a while but it's going to hit a curb no matter what anyhow but the biggest thing is these are thick rubber so these will give if I hit the curb so it shouldn't be too awful bad and worst is going to happen is I crack the the blade, which I don't think I will, but if I do, I just have to drill a hole to keep the crack from going anywhere. Just put plates of steel on both sides of it. Drill a couple holes and be done with it. So I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. But 
So now I gotta do a little bit of thinking, a little bit of figuring, and look at the instructions because yes, I am following the instructions, trying to make things a little bit easier on me. So uh, yeah, let's get this started. Okay, so the first obstacle I'm gonna have is these are supposed to bolt onto here. Well, this be a plastic, I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna have to bolt them onto here. So, that's going to take a little bit of clamping. I'm going to have to cut some edge out of here, which is no big deal. It's just plastic. It'll, it, I'll take the um, flat grinder and just grind that off. So, uh, according to the directions, I don't know if you can see that, but that's how it's supposed to bolt is right on the face. So, I'm going to put some vice grips on there and clamp these in place and see what I could do to get them where they should be. This is what I've got on the back here. What I'm doing is uh, putting a mark in there for the 3 8 I'm going to put drill a pilot hole and then come back and chase it with this. That's where I had that, but we'll see. Okay, so the next thing is I gotta drill a hole in this plow, which it being plastic is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna take a wood bit and drill it. So this is gonna be right here. Approximately. So the hole says inch and an eighth. So that kind of looks like where it should be. The worst that's going to happen if I ha is I have to open this up a little bit more. We're going to take this bolt. Get it right, it should go right on through. Not quite. Since it is getting dark on me here, I'd like to show you what I get to see every single night. It's that nice little sunset. It'd be nice if them apartments weren't there, but that's okay for now. We're trying to move closer to that sunset, away from these houses, but that's going to be another day. So yes, I had to do some custom bending. I had to hit it with a sledgehammer. I had to hit that, flatten it out a little bit more, but... The pin is in. That's all I care about. Okay, I got that one all bolted on. That one went a lot faster because I made the mistakes on the other one, which you see me oblong that out there, which I don't care one way or another. That one I moved over another half inch um, up to the outside, I guess, where the pin goes through uh, versus what the direction said. So it worked out perfect. I didn't have to oblong that one out. So next thing I have to do is uh, mount that rubber piece on there. I got it clamped up. And it takes, uh, you're supposed, according to the directions, you're supposed to drill a three quarter, there's two three quarter inch holes you're supposed to drill through there. But I can't, I don't have a three quarter inch drill bit, a metal bit where I can fit through the hole. So I'm going to mark it out with the Sharpie and I take it out and use a three quarter inch wood bit. It's rubber, shouldn't be a problem. So uh, let's mark this out. Then 
how this is going to drill, but we're going to find out here in a second. That wasn't too bad. A little stinky, but not too bad. Now that looks pretty good if you ask me. So is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is there a couple flaws in there? Yep. Will it work? Yep. And that will hopefully get rid of a lot of the trail off on the other side there. These are uh, angled in a little bit farther than they would have been just because of where uh, these pins are at. These pins are in a lot farther than they uh, originally would have been. So. We'll see how they work. It's got to work better than what it did, and it's a little bit longer. Let's see how long this is. So it went from a seven and a half inch or seven and a half foot blade to an eight and a half foot blade. Biggest thing is is not to have any trail on the outside when I'm making a turn. So we'll see how these work. I'm not sure how they're going to work, but we'll find out. I also forgot one thing. Since these are sticking out farther, just going to bend that out farther. Should line up pretty good. Well, that project took me probably about an hour longer than it should have. I got uh, three and a half hours in it. I should only have probably about two, two and a half hours in it. But uh, seeing as how I never put wings on before, it took me a little bit longer because I had to think about it a little bit more. And, and I had to do some custom bending on the edges there, as you've seen. So uh, just to make them fit because it was they're angled out so far, or angled in so far, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so uh, this week is supposed to be in the 40s all week, so all the snow is going to melt. Um, I am not going to get back out doing any cleanups. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to bring all the equipment home and start servicing everything, cleaning everything all up, um, getting everything ready for spring. And I have, uh, uh, I have to build a shield, a belt guard for uh, the Protero. And I got a couple other things to do. I think the Protero is about where it needs to be. I think it's pretty much set now. I just got to clean everything all up. And uh, uh, I believe in the spring we're going to start off with gator blades. So uh, that's what I'm going to put on at first is gator blades until we get into thatching. And then we'll go into the high lift blades. So uh, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, click the notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you on the next yard or project or driveway.